everybody, this is Roxy, and I am just showing the lolly pin swap over from Your Paper Pantry. It was in our Bobbles, Bangles, and Beads. Um, Reagan is on maternity leave, so I took over the swap. I'm not a beater, so I saw an idea to make a brooch out of lollipop, um, lollipop flowers. So I, I named them lolly pins, and all we had to do was send in one set, and unfortunately, two people sent in four sets, and I'm so sorry that I can't trade them all out. Um, there's just not enough uh, to go around. I feel bad. But Steffi already knows that she's going to have some adorable lolly pins to give away for racks or swaps or to her friends or whatever her presents. But these are Steffi Johnson. She's um, Little Red Wagon Studios here on YouTube. And the themes for the swap was um, summer, spring, winter, fall, or spring, summer, fall, winter. So here's her set. I love them. They're so cute. She did um, really cute butterfly material and some vintage buttons. That's her spring. And then kind of a 4th of July for summer, really pretty. And I love this. This looks like really cool vintage materials too. Here's her fall one. I think I'll do some close-ups. Very pretty. Very nice stuff. I think these are going to be so fun to wear. And then her winter is um, snowflakes in blue and white. And she put them in a really cute vintage bag with a ribbon. And then she also sent me some goodies. Thank you so much, Steffi. I love lavender. Mm. It just is so wonderful. It's such a calming herb. Is it a herb? I think it's an herb. Anyways, I love it. I love it. My friend, my neighbor up the street, um, went to Canada. She's from Canada. Went to BC and found some lavender pillows. And um, she's, uh, she bought me one, and I just love it. But this is going to be nice at my desk. You could put it in your lingerie drawer or... Stick it under your pillow for a calm and relaxing sleep. Um, this is from Steffi. I love this. I might just cut this up for some lolly pins. And then um, I'm just going to open up this package and we'll show you the inside. Okay, so from Steffi, I love this really cool pot holder. She just took a regular pot holder and um, sewed some different materials like some ticking super cute stuff I love it some old buttons this is really adorable very cute I love this material too let me get a close up isn't that cute very nice that's such a cute idea it's like a fun pocket to hold and she made some really cute tags that girl must she, you must craft in your sleep because I don't know how you get so much done and so quickly and so elaborate. Okay, and then a really cool spool of thread. And one of these, I think they're spools or treadle thing. And a pack of vintage buttons. Very cool. Thank you so much, Steph. Okay, now we have Johnny's. And Johnny is Tabasco14 here on YouTube. She just had a birthday. Um, and hers are really cute too. Let's see. Here's the spring. Very pretty. With some violets in the middle. And then her summer is, we. I think I did a 4th of July kind of theme too, or at least red, white, and blue. But I love the vintage button, Johnny. And then she backed it with some cute flowers. And then for fall, she did Halloween. Super cute. And then winter is a nice black and winter white ensemble. So that is really cute. And she did a couple. She also did three sets, and I love this one. Kind of a leopard print. That's really pretty. And then a lemon yellow for spring. And just some variations. Really like them, Johnny. Very nice. And unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, you will be getting some back. 
Um, sorry about that. It was, I guess, confusing. Okay, now we have Becky Felch, and she is Beck Witty here on YouTube, and I love hers too. Very pretty. She did the, um, she kind of sliced her flowers or lolly pins up a little bit, which add, and did some rickrack edging on the spring. Isn't that pretty? Let me just get up there. A lot of really pretty soft pastels for your Easter dress. Very nice, Becky. And summer is some bright colors. I feel like I'm giving a fashion show. And I love seersucker. I almost did seersucker myself. I've got a, let's, where are we gonna get these? There, right there. Some little blue seer, seersucker, that's pretty. Really cute. For your barbecue outfit. A pair of cute cutoffs and a tube top. And for fall, she did some really fun fall colors with a kind of a eggplant or aubergine purple. Really nice. And I love the um, presentation. I didn't mention I like um, all the presentations are really cute. Um, Steffi did a bingo card. I didn't point that out. Obviously, you could see it, but it was super pretty. And this is cute, too. I love that with a little twine and then she labeled each one really cute and you could use this these cards with the bows and stuff you certainly could use those for you know a journal spot or a piece on your greeting card or whatever alrighty and now my lolly pins um, for the spring I used um, this is actually a shower curtain I made for my sister-in-law. It's a really cool material and then I just kept the extra because she doesn't sew or anything. And then a Heidi Swap um, Brad and a vintage doily from my stash. And then I just cut circles, scallop circles for my slice and added a little label. So that's my spring. My summer is kind of, I kind of did kind of a homespun theme for summer and winter and I used um, felt on a lot on most of them and then this is just some um, muslin that I had or linen it's linen I have and then one of Scrubby's old handkerchiefs that he I washed of course <laughs> and some denim from my shower curtain and then some ticking from a, my 4th of July wreath and then a these are the new flowers in the $1.50 bin at Michael's. They've got some really nice primary colors. Not really primary, they're a little off primary, but the solid, darker, jewel tone colors. And this year's Falls Fashion will show a lot of aubergine. I used aubergine as did Beck Witty. And I love this color with orange or green. I love it with lime green. I suppose that kind of dates me to the 80s. Um, so anyways, here's some tool I added, and this aubergine is the really thick, I'll see if I can get close, that's the thick felt from uh, Michael's, that's really fun, and then I just had some brown burlap from a little scarecrow I made, oh my gosh, probably 15 years ago, and then um, these are brads from a recent kit that I made that I bought two years ago. Um, so that's that one, and then for winter, <clears throat> excuse me, again I used that thick felt from Michaels, I love that green. And then I had a old um, wool Pendleton shirt that I bought at an antique sale, or antique store, and I just used um, part of that. Um, I know my girlfriend's going to be twirling in her grave, no I'm really not in her grave, just twirling because she's not dead yet. Um, but if she knows that I cut up a Pendleton. And then some more, this is muslin that I had. And then these are um, new from Michaels. And I cannot remember what line they are. But they're in the jewelry section. There's a card and you get, I think, eight different shapes. And they have pin backs. So if anybody got this and they didn't like that, because I kind of wanted to do... 
like a homespun but with a little bling. You know, they could certainly take that off and glue a button on or whatever, but so those are mine and um there you go. That's my little pen lolly pins. Okay, this is from Lou Duxy and um I love your tags, Lou. They really are cool. They're canvas and look at how perfectly she stamped out the uh, seasons. So here is her spring one. Really pretty. Just go up there. Some really cool buttons and I love all the different patterns. So let me just take these out. Better you can see them better. So isn't that cute? Oh wait, more spring. I love all the different patterns. They really go well. There's some more seersucker. The little stripe. Very pretty. Great patterns and colors. Here's summer, a little more primary colors, some boat and lake. Little water themes, all different themes and Oh, that's cool. I think they're kind of all vintage. Yeah, they look vintage. Oh, what's this? A little camper! My little trailer. Oops, what happened? Uh-oh. Oh, sorry about that. I had my finger on... I got all excited about the trailer. I got my finger on the... The zoom. Sorry about that. It will go beige for a while. That is cute. And then autumn. I love this material here. It's like a woven, almost like an upholstery. Really cool, Lou. I love them. Some little, oh cute. Oh cute, it's a little witch with a cat. Very cool. Man, you got some. She must be a quilter. Are you a quilter, Lou? Because that is a lot of material. And then here's winter. Little mittens with a little hanging. You know how you hang your mittens together when you're little? Or your mom did? Very cool. She's got some tool. I like that. The suiting. Some nice thick felt. Oh, that's like that thick felt from Michael's. Pretty. So cute. Look at the little carolers. Those are really cute. You've got some great. Then she sent me some material as a little hostess gift. Thank you. Little lamb. And I think that middle one is this. Isn't that cute with the little mitten? Very nice, thank you. And then I did want to mention too, uh, Johnny gave me an extra set of her um, pen, lolly pins for a hostess gift. So thank you, Johnny. I, I, uh, I made an extra little lolly pin for you for that. I don't have a whole set. Naturally, I cut out all my circles and I only cut enough for what I needed to make, like an anal little person that I am. And um, but I did have an extra. I did have an extra spring circle, so I made you an extra little pin. I hope that suffices for sending in extras. And thank you for the hostess gifts, everybody. Bye. And last but not least, we have some lolly pins from Yoli Lin. No, Yoli Bean. Um, Yoli Bean on YouTube and Yolanda in real life. Um, so here's how she did hers. Really cute. And then she just added a note. I love this little strip of material. Isn't that cute? And hers are spring. It's really pretty. I kind of, I just like how, you know, I like the little offset pink. It's cute. Very nice, Yoli. And these materials are really pretty. Who doesn't like gingham? Elise. Miss Elise Roy loves gingham. So she's going to be jealous when she sees this. But that's her spring. 
And then here's summer, some pretty yellows and blues. Very cute. She said she wants to make some more too. I think these are really fun. These would be really fun little, um, just little special gifts. And here's her fall. Very cute little pieces of all different colors of felt. I love that gold. And then winter. This is super cool. I think I'm guessing that she felted an, an old sweater or something because it's really thick. And it's like an old woven sweater it looks like. Because you wouldn't be able to cut it. I don't think you'd be able to cut it like this if it was not felted. And felting sweaters, all you got to do is find 100% wool. Some wools felt better than uh, others. Alpaca wool felts the best. So if you can go to Goodwill or a thrift store and find some alpaca sweaters or, you know, scarves, they felt really nicely and it's an easy process. Throw it in your washer, usually with a tennis shoe, just to kind of bang it around. And um, there you go. So there's Yoli's, very cute Yoli. And thank you all for joining in my lolly pin swap. I think we're going to do it again because it's pretty fun. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.